Well, good afternoon. My name is Mark Elwood, and uh, I'm uh, you're going to be your facilitator this afternoon. Uh, City Council has asked me to help guide you through these discussions. It's not going to be a whole lot of me talking, because I'm not an expert in this subject, but it's going to be you folks talking. We're going to see if we can come up with some great ideas. The, the agenda this afternoon is it's going to be a lot at these tables. Uh, we're going to start with a little bit of a general discussion at the table about some of the issues, and I'll give you a little bit of a formula for that. Uh, then we're going to have you all brainstorm on some ideas on a particular question I'm going to ask about reducing gun violence. And uh, we're going to write things up on cards, and cards are going to get put on the wall, and we're going to sort them out and create some action steps. You'll find it very engaging uh, and, and very involving and I think very rewarding. And we'll, the, uh, the, the idea at the end is to come up with some specific actions as to what the community t can do to address this problem of reducing gun violence. First thing I'd like to do is just to have a quick discussion around each table answering these questions. The subject is gun violence in Fort Myers. If you could just think about these two questions, and I'll read things out. If you can't read, don't worry, I'll read things to you. Uh, so what frustrates me is, and you can fill in the blank, and what I am hopeful about is, Take a moment to reflect on those two questions. So I'd like you to individually, there's no discussion here, just individually brainstorm on your own on some ideas and write them down as fast as you can. Answering this question, focus question, what can we do to reduce gun violence in Fort Myers? One of the key words here is the word we. It's not someone else, though maybe you have a couple of ideas about that about something that someone else should do, and okay. But it's largely we. The community is here. You're all representative of the community. What can we do collectively? So take just a four or five minutes, quietly. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of time to discuss. Write down as many ideas as you can that you think answers this question. What can we do to reduce uh, violence, gun violence in Fort Myers? Away you go. What else could we do? How could we make this idea work faster? What if we spent a couple more dollars? What if we used the resources that were out there already? What if we borrowed an idea from another city or another country? Just jot down a couple more ideas. Stretch your brain just a little bit farther to come up with one or two more ideas. You should have a list of somewhere between five and 15 great ideas. What we'd like to do is we want to name these columns. Same deal, three to 10 words, probably starting with a verb, not necessarily. But we want to name them. Now, this gets a bit tricky because we're going to get responses all over the place. Not, you know, we, we want to be precise. This gives you a direction that's important. So, what's this one all about? And how would we name that column? Because sometimes these summations are just so poetic. Reestablish with the words you just said was what? Reestablish, what did you just say? Reestablish felon's right to be a human. So what's this about? The word community, programs, youth comes up. What, what's, what's, how do we sum all that up? How would we name all that? So what you've got here is six major themes. See if that fits. Restoration of human rights for felons. Get youth on the move in our community. Create upwardly mobile job opportunities. Around, arouse the community in conversation. Engage the media to be more positive. And innovative collaboration for law enforcement. Does that sit well? Yes? If you can do those big themes, you're way on the way. That's the wisdom of this group. Some of the people left. But there's some terrific wisdom up there. And you guys came to a great consensus. So, so yes, you do need to do an active job. And hopefully, for those who stayed, you'll say, this was a positive process. I got my voice heard. We came to some interesting consensus. Um, it was kind of interesting. I met some new people. And that alone is a pretty darn good thing. Wouldn't it be neat also next time to get some young people here? I'm going to hang around. If you want to have a couple more conversations, please do. Thank you very much for your great effort.